human evolution is not a standard progression, one thing to another. It's just like a wild, tangled bush, and you ask any two experts, and they'll disagree. Most people believe that Homo erectus is the direct ancestor of modern man, Neanderthal man, the little Homo floresensis, and another, uh, uh, several other types of hominid. But the Homo erectus fossils have also been found alongside fossils of these later types, which suggests either A, all we know about human evolution is wrong and we didn't come from Homo erectus, or that there were relic populations of Homo erectus, so not all of them evolved into other hominids, some of them stayed the same. Uh, the long and short of it is, we just don't know. What sort of time scale are we talking about? How many thousands and millions of years ago were the Neanderthals Homo erectus? Homo erectus was knocking around uh, around a million years ago and, and before. The Neanderthal, they were about half a million years ago till as recently as 28,000 years ago. Uh, Homo floresensis was alive as recently as 12,000 years ago. Maybe it's still around. The Ibu Gogo, the little hairy dwarves spoken of by the Indonesian people. Finally, Richard, what's the difference between modern man and Neanderthals? Neanderthals were shorter than modern men. They had more powerful jaws, larger teeth. They had much less pronounced chin. They had a thick brow ridge. They were, we don't know for sure, but they were probably a good deal hairier. They were shorter, they were massively stronger. They had broader, larger noses uh, for when they breathed in cold air, the blood vessels in the nose would have warmed the air. They were adapted for, for a cold environment. Uh, very tough, but very intelligent. Um, they made artwork, they made jewellery, they seemed to have a, a religion and a concept of the afterlife. They seemed to venerate cave bears, and they took care of their old and their young and their sick.